Hey guys, what's going on? I have something so awesome to show you today. We've got VVV VVV on the NES, SNES, and Genesis minis, or some people call it V6. I call it Triple W. I don't call it that. Nobody calls it that. But we got it working on the minis through Hackchi. This is really awesome. This is coming from the new core set from KMFD Manic, and you know he does the best work with the mini systems around. And it's super easy to get going. You have to have the game on your PC. The game is not included with this, so you have to already own a copy of VVV VVV to get this to work. I got my copy from Good Old Games. The first thing you're going to do is hack your system. I will have a video on my description showing you how to get that done. Once you've got your system hacked, go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the Games tab, and it's not showing in here right now, but this is where you're going to find the VVV VVV game. Say this was V6 right here, you would just highlight it and then click Download Game. And it'll appear on your games list on this side with the included box art and description. Next you have to open up the folder location here so we can add the game file. So right click the game go to show in Windows Explorer and you get something like this that pops up. Now you need to go to wherever you keep your game files. Like I mentioned, I got mine from good old games. So this is what my whole game folder looks like. We need this data zip file. Just drag that into the first folder. Then you can close both folders out. Last step is to hit this synchronize button to transfer the game from your PC to your mini system or the export to USB button if you're using external storage. I'm going to show this off on the SNES Classic, but it works perfectly on the NES and the Sega Genesis Mini as well. So let's head over there and take a look. And here it is, VVV VVV on the SNES Classic. Let's open it up. This is awesome. This is one of my favorite retro games or retro styled games. It immediately gives you a Commodore 64 feeling with this loading screen. It has one of the most amazing soundtracks. Ever. You have to listen to the soundtrack if anything else. But here it is. It started up fine. We're going to hit the action button. And the game does work well with the native controllers on the system. You just need an action button and start will be your return key. So we're going to go through. I'm going to start a game. And it runs perfect. Some bad things are happening on the ship. If you haven't played this before, please get this game. And it, it feels so good to play it on the mini system. It's Ah, he's all by himself. That's terrible. So the the whole thing with this game, oh, this music. Um, you hit the action button to flip gravity to either go on the ceiling or the floor, and that's how you go through the entire game. These sea things are checkpoints, and you will need them because it's not the easiest game, but it's not like the worst ever. Oh, this music! I can't, I can't help it. The enemies are so fun. I don't know what that was. I was probably supposed to read it, but we're in a hurry. I'm gonna try and beat this first stage so you can see how great this game is and why you need it on your mini system. And again, great job by Dan the Man and KMFD for getting this working. This is so cool. We're talking to Violet. We found one of our crewmates. They're over there in the pink area. We should probably go over there. And I always like this little part here because now that he's found one of his friends, he's happy. He's no longer sad. You're Captain Viridian, by the way. All your crewmates, their names start with V. Hence the name. V6. You know, you got six crew members, I believe. And that makes up everything else. Here's a little bit of a tricky one. A little tricky puzzle. Got it. And then you find out that you don't even really have to do it because it's just for one of these token things. But that's cool. You want to collect all 20 tokens. There's 20 of them. And we got a or trinket, excuse me. And I just killed myself. But hey, speedrun strat. Oh, not that way. Because now I'm back over here. I didn't have to mess with that again. This is kind of weird going upside down. But we got it. Okay, continuing on. Shouldn't be much more. Oh my god. Okay, we passed it. No problem. Checkpoint up here. Oh, I, well, I, I knew what I was doing. Hold on. This, I swear, I, I can do this a little bit better. Oh, this music. Okay. They throw this part at you pretty early. It's, it's not the easiest part. Yeah, you gotta dodge some stuff. I'm very surprised this is one of the first things you gotta do. Oh boy. Okay, but we're gonna get it because we are Captain Vridi and we don't give up. We have crewmates to save. Look at that. First try every time. I'm just gonna go through this disappearing sand looking, I don't know what that is. Spooky ghost, not today. I don't know what these things are, but I was a close dodge. These enemies are so cool. And then, what do we find? A teleporter, we can get back to the ship. Hit start. And we're back at the ship. There's Violet, I think that was her name. Captain. And we beat the level with incredible skill for crew members remain so yeah we are one of the six v's how about that 
Let's continue. I think more cool music is about to pop up. Oh, there it is. Yes. I could just leave the game playing and, and be fine with it. But anyway, huge thanks to KMFD and Dandy Man for getting this running. This is amazing. If you haven't played it, please give it a try. And that's all I got for you guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Jordy Alex, Rick67, Travis Morton, John Westby, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Orudzov, Dor, Andre G, Den Cardoso, Jason Hallbrooks, Magnesium Winterjuice, Craig Livesley, Geode, James Burkhart, and Batman.